Hi friends, welcome back to craftsandcollage.com. I appreciate you coming by. Please take a minute and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like the video. <laughs> uh, today I just want to discuss a couple of things and then I may do a, a fee, um, glue book page. Not certain yet, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things really quickly because um, I've had some interesting conversations, actually, not even from online, but a couple of people I met at an event I went to the other day um, were, were asking me about about that. And it, it, as simple as it was, they asked me about full page glue book pages or how I, did I collect full, full page uh, pages and so on. And yes, as a matter of fact, I do. These are what I use background for background pages, things like this. And that'll cover a goodly portion of a page. But aside from those, I've harvested so many really pretty ones. And I've I've shown you in um this other my other um my other Van Gogh uh, one where I did do full pages. That's well, that's one over one over top of another. So this is a full page. This is a full page. This isn't. This is three separate pictures. This is a full page because I happen to love the pictures. This is a full page. I'm not going to discriminate between smaller pictures or bigger pictures. To me, funny as it sounds, a face, you know, a full page. Funny as it sounds, a glue book page is a glue book page. If you've glued something in there, it's a glue book page. And frankly, I love so many of the full-size pictures that I'm not willing to um, cut them up or, you know, do something with them if I don't want to. Now, I've got some to put in here, and then I've got some, I know I have some full-size pages in here. Yep, see, full-size pages that I have every intention of just, um, Nope, that's this. And this is, I'm Canadian, so this is Wayne Gretzky's daughter. She's a mom and a model and an accomplished woman, just like her father. So, yeah, so um, full pictures I tend to, you know, save and throw in as a full page. I don't tend to separate them off, like this half of the book is going to be full page, this half of the book is going to be glue book. I don't do that. I tend to mix them in some. This is going to have my last harvest one, not harvest, um, fall, autumn, Samhain, my last autumn picture on this side of this page. And I'm going to leave the same white border, um, but I mix in the full pages with the partial, like the smaller pictures and cutouts and stuff. So that's what I wanted to talk about because someone was asking me what I did with the full pages that I like to keep. And that's exactly what I do with them. I pop, pop them in here until I'm ready to use them. And then I drag them out and I decide where in the book I want them because sometimes I like I did with this this is going to be the last autumn and then what I'll do I'll leave hushed October oh pardon me um, but this write up doesn't interest me so I will take I will write up my thoughts in this autumn this last couple of days of October and I will uh, glue it down over this and then I'll have my, my, and so on. You know, I'm just a big sentimental old fool. Anyway, so that's that. The other thing I wanted to discuss, believe it or not, is this. Okay, so I'll move the book so you can see. So you know how fairly regularly 
<laughs> when I'm doing my my uh, glue book pages, I end up with a little strip of white or a background or type or something because I put the paper, like the pictures, where I want them. I try and, but frequently I'll trim too much off and just, oopsie, you know, you've seen it happen. If you've watched my vids, you've seen it happen over and over. So, as I was pillaging through some of my new magazines, I realized, well, these don't really count. They're sort of a patterned thing that I kind of pulled out of there on purpose. So, I realized that there's a lot of space around the pictures we cut out that often has just a piece of color around it. See, these are, these are like straight lines. There's a bit of a pattern in there and stuff, but mostly it's just strips of color. Now, what awesome stuff to fill in those <laughs> those oops Janet left a little space again spaces right so it works and then I realized that I had all those pages from magazines with nothing but massive amounts of background in a single color I was saving them for that very failed art project with the torn pieces of colored paper where you create I, the most beautiful it was like a rooster or something. It was just gorgeous, and I wanted to try it. And it was just a big old fail. And the, the video might still be up. I don't know. I know I posted it as an art fail. So I've got all those, too, of plain colors. But the point is, now I don't have to, like, um, for example, in the one page we did just, what, yesterday or a couple of days ago. Remember, I had these pieces of page that we're going to show that I simply put the, the paper where I wanted them, the pictures and then I found ways of the, the border of this magazine page is this yellow that I placed around and stuff but I realized cutting these amazing pictures out that oftentimes there are edges to the paper and borders around the paper that are a particularly beautiful color. So I've started to save them. I'm going to save them and um, see this I I needed. I can cover the Kohler label but this so that's the kind of thing. So I've I've got this growing pile of I don't know what even to call them fillers for those little tiny bits of white that or you know background that you just you can't seem to find something to cover them with so that is my um, shared hint for today probably you guys are already doing this I have no idea but I figured I'd share that aha moment with you because now you see this means that there's even more I can pillage out of every single magazine I go through. <laughs> I take the text, see, the text from whatever works. You take the pictures. Even if you don't think you like them, put them in an extra envelope or something because there'll be a time where you pull them out and go, oh, even if I don't like them, they're perfect for this or that. I promise you they won't go to waste. Nothing seems to go to waste that you can get from a, a magazine these days. And then, of course, like I say, you use the rest of it as a glue backing so you can just recycle it when you're done but not get glue everywhere. So, the filler strips, I guess that's what they're going to be called, filler strips. There's an idea I know I need it because regularly I have that one little piece of... Um, glue book that I haven't, you know, haven't uh, been able to fill in. So, there you go. Okay, I'm going to do a vid now with a glue book page. Instead of making this too long, those that want to can watch and I'll post them at the same time. Happy crafting! <laughs>